up good people aka winners that's what we do a hey, that's all we do a a a a a a i'm coming to you with another feed yo a hey, coming to you with another bead yo picky picky whatever cabbage patch on them but anyway i am back you guys and i missed you let me be careful before something happens to the button. I'm not gonna even give a disclaimer about, I miss you guys and you know, I was away like a week, da 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 da. Cause here's the, this is like the realness. This is all the way 100, okay? I get it in when I can fit it in and I bring it to you guys. So this video is going to be a twofer, but you guys know that I told you that I always love to give you guys, you know, I like to share new products with you. Hence, we're gonna be talking about the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Foundation. Girl, this is the hydrating one. Th this is y'all fault, okay? This is all y'all. But I was about to say, Key, see, see, what? Start over. <laughs> but I was about to say, see, Key does not do hydrating foundation. But you guys were asking for me to do this foundation, okay? Now, um, I got the shade 400 just like I have in the other Fenty Beauty foundation. Now, we already know, and if you don't know, check out the video, which I will link, I believe it'll be up here in this video. Check it out because I already have a video on um, a review on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna original foundation, all right? And pause for the cause. Mm -mm. Where are my manners? If this is your first time watching CK, okay? If this is your first time coming on in, then I want to welcome you to come in permanently. Stay for a while, park it, girl, guy, whoever is watching, click that subscribe button, put your notifications on. You'll see a little example up and through here. Put your notifications on so you get notified. It is my goal, it is my endeavor to have a video up every weekend. Although um, sometimes I put it up on Monday, sometimes I put it up on a Wednesday. So if you are, if you have your notifications on, then you're not gonna miss it. Now, um, this is gonna be a two for one special because like I was saying, I love talking about new products with you guys. I love sharing all the new stuff, which if you look on my Instagram, Seeky underscore beauty, I always do unboxings of everything that I get. But at the same time, I love giving you guys tips and tricks and I love going back to the basics. So what we are gonna do is I'm gonna split this video up in two, that's what two for means, okay? Two for one special. One video will be me talking about how to pick your favorite or your go-to foundation because that is one of the main questions that I get and it's one of the main mistakes that I see people make like legit. Either they're looking too green, they're looking too yellow, they're looking too red, they're looking too orange, they're looking too ashy, but I'm here to help you and I'm here to get it right. And if you inbox me and ask me about a shade, I do not discuss shades via messages or anything like that because I could tell you one color and you can actually use it or I could tell you another color that looks nothing like your skin tone or undertone and and it may very well work out for you. And what we're not gonna do is be like, see, he said it, and then you look and toe up from the flow up. We're not doing that, mm -mm, no. I gotta give you like a little side note because I'm so, so excited. Um, BT contacted me, BT Network. They contacted me a couple of months ago and asked if they could use my video or a segment of my video for this new um, this new show that they have coming out about um, black women in makeup. And of course, I obliged. And so um, today is, well, I ain't gonna even tell you today because I don't want you to know when I film this because I don't know when it's going up. Okay, girl. But they sent me the video today and it's like a clip of me going in the store and like looking at foundation and matching it to my niece's neck. I'm just stoked that like BET is checking for your girl. I'm just saying. What? So anyway, and so it's so ironic that today they released that and I'm actually doing a video on foundation. I had this like in the works already because I got my notes. First and foremost, I did write down three steps to finding the right foundation. So number one, this is muy importante. You want to make sure that you have a primer and I like to have a primer. I've been using this Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass like, and I really like it a lot. Um, and this will be probably perfect for this hydrating foundation, but I've been using this primer. I've been using a few of them, but it is important to have a primer. And the reason that it is important to have a primer is because it acts as a barrier between your skin and the makeup and it allows 
allows for a smoother application. So let's say you have, you know, you know, your pores, is, you got some different things going on with your pores. Um, some of them even like this one, it has some type of purple in it, I believe it is, to where it kind of illuminates the face. I, I can't, I really don't like that because it has a white cast to it too, but good thing it covers up with foundation. But you know, a primer hat, this is not a primer video, but maybe I'll do a video like all about why I love primers and what primers are supposed to do. But let's just say it acts as a barrier between your makeup and your skin, and it helps to give you a flawless finish. This um, It Cosmetics Primer, it has gripping technology, so it makes sure that your makeup stays put all day. So, you know, different primers have different functions, just like um, different skincare and different foundations, if you will. But again, I say, this is not a primer video. But before you even get a primer, before you even get a foundation, it is important to know what your skin type is. Now I do also have a video on um, what to know before you even buy any makeup. Like these are tips that you need to know. So I will put that in, the, um, in this video and in the description box as well. But it's really, really important to know your skin type before you even step foot in the store because that will let you know what direction you need to go in with a primer and with the foundation case in point if you have normal to dry skin you definitely don't want anything mattifying unless you get a sample of it you try it out and it's a love thing and it works okay and I just love teaching I love sharing with y'all oh it's just so good it's just it's just so uh, some substance you know what I mean I have combination skin all right and combination skin simply means that it's pretty normal everywhere except for my t-zone which is around like around this area around my forehead really around my brows right there and then around my nose and especially like right, right here girl like oh I'll be like let me dib dab a bit and then right here which I don't really mind because um like you know it just makes my highlight pop and then around my chin area so you know you got like a T you get it so know your skin type know what finish you like that all goes under number one now when you go get matched at sephora or ulta or mac or wherever it is that you're going that you get matched you guys know that walgreens and like cvs they have beauty bars now some of them and so you may be able to get matched there but not always at a drugstore okay but if you go there um have them find your shade your undertone and to let you know if that foundation oxidizes okay those are important now here's the thing the shade is the shade like brown that you are okay now the undertone could be many undertones you could have an olive undertone you could have a golden undertone you can have a neutral undertone i have a lot going on in my skin and i always have to tell people i got a little olive i got a little golden i got a little red matter of fact when lancome I, let me see if it's still here when lancome mixed my foundation like i had this done um it was actually customized and it says La Tante Particulaire. I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't even remember, girl. But it says custom made makeup and it's customized exclusively for C key. And it has my number so that if I ever wanted to go get it again, I could. So when I tell you, I did a video on this too, the whole process of me getting this. And they legit had yellow in there, they had green in there, they had red in there, they had white, they had all these different mixtures to come up with my perfect shade foundation. Okay. So the shade is the shade that you are that oh well that's my color and then the undertone is like that underlying undertone that kind of picks up underneath your skin if that makes sense and I'm trying to simplify this as much as possible guys I want my shade I want the right undertone and does it oxidize now if they don't tell you you can always find out because sometimes they can tell you hey this foundation doesn't oxidize but guess what if I put it on me it very well may there are some that oxidize more than others and what I mean by oxidize is when you put it on it's one color and after you leave it there for about you know five or ten minutes it changes to another color but that's what we call oxidization okay so those are things you want to look out for and I have that in my number two 
And then in number three, when you are testing swatches of different shades and different undertones, let it sit for at least five minutes. And the reason that you want to let it sit for at least five minutes is because just in case that foundation does oxidize, you have let it sit there enough so that you can see if it oxidizes, right? Because what happens when it does oxidize, like let's say, and we're just going to put on some primer while we're talking and this is going to have to go for both of the videos. Okay. Cause I feel like just sitting here talking, like, I feel like baby, I need to put on some makeup or something back to the, I'm um, going to the store. And when you put on the foundation, just do a swipe. And I'm gonna show you how to do that because this is what we're gonna do with this Fenty Beauty foundation because truth of the matter is, and I should have done this before I daggone put on this primer. Why do I always do that? But the truth of the matter is, I like my neck is a little bit lighter than my face. Okay. So if you're, you may have different variations of this, you may be a little bit darker on, you know, on your body and then you may be lighter on the face. Whatever you need to do to match your face to your body, do that, okay? Because I'm not going to say, oh, match your face. Just put it on your face and match your face. I tend to match my neck, which my neck is similar to, you know, the rest of my body. So I tend to match my neck. So when I try a foundation, I'm going to show you right now, even though I didn't blend that out, because we're going to let it sit, because we're going to see if this oxidizes. And you know what? I don't remember if it does or not, because the other one, the other Fenty, girl, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the um, 400 in the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And this one is the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So this is what you do. You take the foundation, you swipe it here, and I usually take it all the way down like that. And the reason that I take it all the way down is because I want to see how it's going to match me overall. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to have to work some magic with this Fenty probably because the 400 doesn't fit me like perfectly. It doesn't. So anyway, after you do that swipe, walk around the store, girl, walk around and let it do what it do. Okay. See if it's going to oxidize. Certain foundations may not oxidize and some of them may, but by you walking around, this smells good. Mm, just like the other one, but while you walking around and giving it a go and like letting it sit and letting it do what it do, you will find out if it oxidizes or not. Now, the reason that this step is so important to do is because you can try a foundation on right now, right? And then you can say, oh, you blend it in and you're like, oh my goodness, that's perfect. I'm good taking it home, right? And so then you get home and you thinking that that's your perfect match, right? Then you about to do your makeup and get all fly and flawless and whatnot and go somewhere. And then after that baby has set for like 30 minutes, and you put all your makeup on people wondering what the heck did you do did somebody do a bad makeup job like what's going on like what was happened to your skin like did you get a sunburn because i already know that that ain't right but i'm gonna work with it and make it work i'm gonna do another foundation so you can get what i'm saying and you may need to do a few of them to find your perfect shade and that is okay that is why they have testers okay so now this one is the urban decay stay naked oh that was a lot and maybe I shouldn't have put so much, okay? Or maybe I should put a little bit more than that. And I'm kind of doing it with a foundation that's kind of like both of them have a little orange undertone. So I probably could have given you a better, you know, uh, demonstration. But let me see what else I got. Okay, so we have Too Faced Foundation. This is in the shade Chestnut by Too Faced, okay? It is Born This Way Foundation. So let's do that one. Okay. And so you may even want to, and I'm not trying to be funny, but you may want to like blend them out. And it kind of sucks too, because I did put on that, that primer that is just not getting me right. You know what I mean? Cause it's making me look off anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have chose that for this, but anyway, hopefully you still get the idea of what I'm saying. So this is the Fenty, the, um, the hydrating one. This is the urban decay. Stay naked. That's blending into my skin a little bit more. And then this is the Too Faced Chestnut, right? This one doesn't have as much red as the other ones do. So this is what you wanna do. This is the idea. This is the concept that you wanna do when you go try it on. But you don't wanna put on a primer that has a cast like I just did, okay? That hashtag fail, okay? Nope, we don't fail, we win. But hashtag 
I learned something. <laughs> So then when you let them sit there, let's just say that this has been sitting for like 10 minutes or whatever. And I walked around the store now, um, from the looks of it, it's like, okay, I believe that this one is going to be my perfect match. You go with the one that is closest to your skin. Now there are some foundations that I will take. I'll still purchase that are not dead on, but I know how to play with it with concealer to highlight or contour or whatever. Like I know how to work with it or I can mix it with another foundation that I have that may be a little lighter or darker or vice versa. All right. So sometimes I will get something that's not my exact shade. Just, hence the Fenty. I think that it's always great to have a high end foundation foundation as well as a drugstore foundation. And with the high end foundation is because you can go to the, um, you can go to the counter and you can have them assist you with it, right? You can have them try all these different swatches and you can get a little bit of assistance if you're not, if you don't feel confident in the area of picking your foundation. But at the drugstore, we don't always have um, the ability to do that. Like I told you, there's only a few locations or drugstore locations or even stores that will allow you to swatch and will help you and assist you with finding your right shade. But here's the kicker and here's the tip and here's just run and tell that <laughs> once you get a high end foundation, you can legit go to the drugstore and I'm just going to pick up a drugstore foundation. You can go to the drugstore and be like, I have this one. And then you just put it up to all the other foundations. And then you say, Oh, okay. That looks really close. Okay. Oh, let me get this one. You've had some assistance in finding your shade. So now you can almost find your shade anywhere. It becomes a little bit easier, but don't wait till you get to the end of the bottle and there's nothing left in there. And you got to scrape it to try to you know match it that way okay that's just a tip that's just a trick what I would also recommend if I can is when you find your shade when you're like now that looks like my color there will be a range of undertones within that shade. Most foundations, a lot of, a lot of brands have not caught the vision yet. So take all the ones that are within that shade range and swatch all of them. Either. I don't really want to say your hand cause our hands tends to be a different shade. I don't like matching on my hand, but because I know my colors, I can match on my hand and tell if something, you know, will work for me. But I recommend taking a lot of them from that shade range and just swatching them all across cross and seeing which undertone matches you best and then asking you know the rep okay so what undertone is that or um what undertone does it look like or seeing what the bottle says because now you have foundations that get a little more detailed with their undertones and their their shades okay so that should help you guys i want you guys out here looking like um we didn't we didn't spend some time together okay like i tell my kids you can't go out here looking crazy and say you my child and i'll be teaching makeup on youtube and whatnot. Mm -mm. We'll talk about how to fix a foundation that is like your wrong shade on another episode if you guys choose. But that is it for this video. I will hit you with a, um, you know, with the finished look because I cannot end this video like this girl. All right. But you guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. To keep you neat, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.